In addition to TypeScript and a testing framework, modern Node.js projects need consistent coding standards and formatting. In this video, we'll guide you step-by-step -step on installing ESLint and Prettier in a Node.js project. We'll also explore ESLint new flat config file format. I am in a Node template 2024 project. I have TypeScript configured and just configured for testing. If you would like to learn how to do it, check out setting up Node.js project with a TypeScript and just step-by-step -step guide video. If you are in the VS Code, be sure you have ESLint plugin installed. So just type ESLint and you're going to have this plugin, so be sure you have it installed. Now let's go ahead and install ESLint in the project. We're going to be doing npm init at ESLint config at latest. It's going to ask us a couple of questions. So we do want to check syntax and find problems. What are we going to be using? We're going to be using actually a common JS require exports. Are we going to be using any frameworks? We're going to put none of these. Does your project use TypeScript? We're going to say yes. Now it asks us where does your code run? So here we're going to be running in the node. So we're going to put arrow down and check node, and then we're going to go up and hit space bar again to uncheck browser. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to ask us if we would like to install the packages. And it asks if we want to use NPM and we're going to say yes. When ESLint is installed, it tells us that some plugins currently do not support ESLint v9. This is where ESLint uses flat config. And it tells us that we may want to use dash dash force when installing packages or add overrides ESLint uh, 9.6.0 to package.json. So let's go ahead and do that. In the package.json, we can add overrides ESLint 9.6.0. Let's go ahead, save it and close it. After ESLint is installed, it created eslint.config.mgs file in the root of our project. Well, right, it's MGS, so we do export default. Uh, the first configuration object contains just files. Uh, the next configuration object actually contains another set of files, but it says that .js, so it's narrower uh, files list, right? And when it does .js, we're going to apply language options as uh, common JS. So for example, if we have a jest right here, right, it's JS, and we want to say that we want to apply common JS here. So the next thing, we also have another configuration object that has language options and it uses the globals for a node because we are working in Node.js. And then we have plugins, right? And we're using plugins JS from ESLint itself and we're using uh, recommended configs for this. You can also use .all, so all the configs, but in our case, we'll just use recommended. And also we are importing TSLint from TypeScript ESLint. And in this case, TSLint exports an array of configuration objects rather than just one. And like I said, you have to check with the ESLint uh, TypeScript uh, documentation, right? And therefore we're gonna use the split operator ESLint configs uh, recommended. Now let's go ahead and update this configuration to match our project. So in the files, right, we're going to put the following, we're going to be ignoring, and it's going to be a global ignore, and we ignore the dist folder, right, where our project can get built. Uh, also node modules, right, they need to be ignored. However, they're ignored by default. In the object that contains files, we're going to put the files that we are interested in, right? Uh, files in SRC and files in a test folder. And we're going to be mostly using JS and TS, uh, JSX and TSX. I just put it in just in case. And then we will also keep language options as is, and then plugins, uh, JS from ESLint recommended and uh, TypeScript recommended configuration as is as well. So TypeScript is taken care of. Let's take care of Jest. Uh, let's install the following, right? We'll do npm install eslint plugin Jest with a flag dash dash save dev. Uh, eslint plugin Jest is installed. Let's go ahead and update eslint config file. We're gonna do import Jest from eslint plugin Jest. And then we can define specific configuration for our test file, right? So, uh, just config flat recommended, right? 
it is exporting config object. However, since we're putting it inside the configuration object to apply to the test files, we're going to split it out. And then in the rules, we're kind of splitting out the same. And then we do uh, just prefer expect, expect assertions. We're going to put it as off. Let's now take care of the pre-tier. And again, if you are in uh, VS Code, so be sure you have a pre-tier uh, plugin installed, right? So it's right here, pre-tier code for matter. Now let's actually jump into pre-tier docs, you know, Google pre-tier docs, click on anything. And then uh, from the left-hand side, choose integrating with linters. The pre-tier recommended way of integrating with a ESLint is basically just turning off the rules that conflict or unnecessary uh, with pre-tier, right? So, and you're going to be using ESLint config pre-tier for that. However, some people like me, they would like uh, to run pre-tier as a linter rule. Now it's generally not recommended, but I still kind of like it. You know, we can just kind of use lint command and then, you know, you can kick in pre-tier as well. So I would going to be doing also ESLint plugin pre-tier. So if you click on that, and it, it's documentation basically going to tell us that you're going to be configuring this plugin. And when you do that, it will also enable the ESLint config pre-tier. So let's jump to VS Code and install the following. We're going to be doing npm install with a save dev flag. We're going to do ESLint plugin pre-tier and ESLint config pre-tier to turn off the rules. Now we're going to install pre-tier library itself, and it is recommended to install the exact version of this library. Now let's go ahead and add uh, pre-tier to ESLint config. Uh, we're going to be importing ESLint plugin pre-tier recommended from ESLint plugin uh, pre-tier recommended. The documentation suggests to put ESLint plugin pre-tier at the very bottom, so it will override any conflicting rules. Let's go ahead and save it, and we're all set. Again, if you're working in a VS Code, you got to make sure you also uh, go to settings and do default formatter. You need to select it as pre-tier for your editor. And you also may want to use format on save, right? I like to do that. So we'll just do format on save, right? You're going to make sure you checked it here. Now let's go ahead to uh, package.json file, right? And we're going to create another script right here. I'm going to call it lint and we're going to put es lint. Now let's go ahead and run this script. We'll do npm run lint. And you can see we get a bunch of errors. And as you can see, we also got mostly pre-tier, right? Our pre-tier got integrated into linter, and that's I kind of like that. Let's go ahead and run npm run lint, and we will put fix option right here. And now everything fixed, right? So everything is looking good. So let's go ahead and do a little bit more testing, right? Let's create some code to make sure our configuration works. In the SRC utils, we can create the following. We can put const object and it's going to be hello uh, world. And then another thing that we're going to put is let C equals to, let's say, seven. Let's go ahead and save this file, right? And as you can see, most of the things got fixed because we have format on save. Now let's go ahead and run npm run lint again. And as you can see, we have error. The object is assigned a value but never used. That's that's the object. And then we also have C is never reassigned. So we need to do prefer uh, const. So let's go back to ESLint config. And right here, we can create another configuration object. We're going to put just one property rules in there. And this will be also an object. And what we're going to do, we're going to put a TypeScript ESLint, no unused vars, and we're going to turn off this rule. And go ahead, save it, and the pre-tier is going to take care of the formatting for us. Now, let's go ahead and run npm run lint again. And as you can see, now we only have one error and it says prefer const, right? And we actually want to follow that rule, right? We don't want to turn it off. So let's go ahead and do const. Let's save it. Let's run 
npm run lint again and we are all good by integrating ESLint and Prettier into your Node.js project with a TypeScript and Jest, you ensure that your code is not only type safe and well tested, but also follows consistent style and formatting guidelines. Now we can check if code submitted as a pull request in our project passes the tests and is linted. In order to learn how to check PRs with GitHub Actions, please watch this video.